All right, what you see is a MacBook Pro 2012 model that uh, isn't working. This video is to uh, try and offer any suggestion or try to get any suggestions uh, as to what may be wrong with this machine and what can be done to repair it if, or, or if it's even uh, repairable at all. I will show you the model number and then the problem it's having. Right here you can see it is a model number A1278. Alright, here's the computer. It's, um, it's pretty standard 13 inch MacBook Pro with the CD drive on the side. It's been very well taken care of. It's never been abused, never been dropped never been uh, intentionally damaged in any way. It's mainly just sat on my desk and been used for uh, work and web surfing and tasks like that. And I had a problem with it that was it just started acting very slow. Uh, what I mean by that is is just like even simple tasks that it used to handle pretty easily. I would start getting the spinning beach ball or it would just freeze up and crash completely and eventually got to the point that it was so bad that just trying to scroll down in a word document or something like that it was uh, starting to just give the beach ball just from that so and then one day it just started acting even weirder than that it was not responding to really any clicks or anything couldn't get it to connect to the internet so I went to restart it and I will show you what happened. So, turn it on. Starts up pretty typical. All right, now I'm going to enter my password. All right, password's entered. Hit enter. So it does the pretty standard where it loads up like this. I can hear the hard drive, it seems like it's working just fine until it gets about a little less than halfway through. There you go. It has this error message here. It then restarts. It says your computer is starting because of a problem. Press a key or wait a few seconds to continue starting up. So, I'm just going to wait a few seconds. It does the same thing no matter what if I press key. Alright, enter the password again. Alright, just enter the password. And same thing. So, I'm just going to shut this down here. If anybody has any suggestions as to what's causing this to do this, or uh, what I could do to repair it, um, if whether I think it could be the hard drive cable or even a bad hard drive. So if anybody has any suggestions as to what it could be or what to do to fix it, please comment below. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.